has been summoned at last. And secure in their great advantage, Kuto launched an aggressive attack on Konan. Lady Miyaka, along with the surviving members of the Suzaku Seven, joined the battle against the armies of Kuto. However, because the power of Suzaku has been sealed away by Lady Yui, the priestess of Seryu, the Suzaku Seven have no special powers to use to defend against them. Soi, of the Seiryu Seven, is killed in the fray, and the Lady Yui has used her second wish to Seiryu. Take Miyaka and me back to our old reality at once! Tamahome! And then a miracle occurred. It's up to you now, Tetsuya. He's here. It can't be. Tamahome's come out of the book. Unless this is some sort of illusion, just a trick, or maybe a dream. I can feel his pulse. I can't believe it. He's here. He's a flesh and blood person in my own world. Hey, Takahashi! <laughs> wait up! What do I do? We can't stay here in the school. They'll find us. But where am I supposed to take Tamahome? I know. Man, I'm wiped out and it's all Miyaka's fault. Hello, Yuki residents. Kisuke! Huh? Miyaka, Miyaka, is that you? Yui, why don't you tell me where you've been? I've been worried sick about you. Leave me alone. I'm tired. Yui. Lady Yui, take this gem. It's one of the earrings I wear. If for some reason we're ever separated, it will allow you to communicate with me, no matter where you may be. If I place the remaining matching earring inside of Tomo's shell, it will make a connection with your life force and let us talk to each other. If anything should happen, and you need me for any reason, I'll come to you at once. Forgive me, Nakago, for abandoning you all in the middle of such an important battle. Let's attack! The ramparts are weak! We're almost in! The ramparts! They're falling! <laughs> Mitsukake! Say your prayers, because this is where you die. Tamahome and Miyaka have disappeared somewhere, and our forces are losing the battle! From this lower vantage point, there's not really much we can do against them now, you know! Suboshi, the time has finally come to dispose of them. What are you waiting for? Lady Yui. Huh. There's nothing to fear. We shall see Lady Yui again. Huh? Huh? Who do you fight for? Ooh, knock knock, who's there? It's only an incredibly dashing fellow here to save his old boss who's in a tight pit. Ah! Well, come right in. Thank you very much. Koji! Blackguards and bandits, and they're on their side. 
This has grown very tiresome, Suboshi. We're leaving. Hey, come back here! Forget it. We'd have no chance against them anyway. Koji! It's nice to see you again, Genro. How's it hanging, Koji? It's been pretty rough for us, actually. But whatever happened to the priestess of Suzaku, huh? We don't know. I don't believe a person from that book actually came out of it. You're the one who had to carry him all the way home, and now you don't believe he's real? Okay, you're right. Then just tell me how you got back here from inside the book. What happened? Well, first of all, Yui summoned Seiryu. I think she used one of her wishes to will us back to this reality. And my feeling is she was trying to separate Tamahome and me. So you think Yui's come back here too? I don't really know where she is. What about the universe of the four gods? What have you been doing with it? Oh yeah, you have no idea what I've been going through these past few days. I'm home! What are you two doing out here in the hallway? Don't you have homework no, to do? No, not here in my room! My mom! It's been months since I've seen her. So, what's with the puppy dog eyes? Are you hungry? Yeah, that's right. For me it's been months, but for her we've only been apart a couple nights, and it still seems pretty normal. That was too close for comfort. I was trying to think of what to do if she found him in there. Hey, Skay, if you keep <gasps> acting like that, she'll know something's up. <sighs> right, okay. I'm sorry to bother you. Yui has come back here to Tokyo, too. But her mom said she wasn't home. She had some errands to run. Okay. As long as the book is with Osugi and the others, there should be no trouble. Huh? Suzuno Osugi. Tetsuya and I went to go visit her. And what happened to her? She died. She's gone. Huh? It's Tatara. Then it's all true. Tatara. Tatara. Suzano. It's all okay now. It took them so long. But they were always at peace. And even now, they're both so happy. At the end of their lives, they were together. After that, that guy Toki offered to help us, and right now he and Tetsuya are researching the book. I knew Mom would be worried, so I had to come back here first, and that's when you called. I had just walked in. <gasps> Tamahome, you're awake? Miyaka! Where am I? W what is all this? Where's Toski and all the other warriors? And where's Nakago? What's going on? Tamahome, calm down. You're in Tokyo, where I live. Somehow we both traveled back to my reality. Your reality? This is your world? We have to turn around and go back. We have to go back right away. Our friends and, and all of Konan are in danger. Miyaka, get ready. We have to hurry. Where's my armor? Well, you see, to go back, we need to use the universe of the four gods. But Tamahome doesn't know he's a character in a book. How do I tell him? Hi there, Tamahome! How you doing? I'm Kesuke Yuki, Miyaka's older brother, and... I'm so glad I got a chance to meet you. You're even cooler than I thought you'd be. Could I get your autograph? You don't have to slap her all over him. I know you're worried about the battle in Conan and all your friends there, but I'm afraid we don't know how to send you back just yet. You somehow crossed dimensions to get to this world. We need to figure out how that happened. What are you doing? Well, we're gonna have to tell him something, and it's the truth anyway. We can't do anything without the universe of the four gods. Your friend's on the phone! That must be Tetsuya. 
Okay, Tamahome, don't worry. We'll put our heads together. I can't go back. I wonder if everyone's all right. Tamahome, can you tell me if you remember what you did to get here? I think so. It happened in the instant that your body started to disappear in that bluish light. Miyaka! My heart was screaming, I won't let you leave me again, and I grabbed on as tight as I could. And he came along with me, out of the book. So this is it. This is where you were born and spent your entire childhood. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Miyaka's here, and somehow she brought Tamahome back from the book into the real world. I know it's unbelievable, but it's true. Amazing! What the power of true love can do. You shouldn't get too moved by all this, Keisuke. The situation isn't as cute as you think it is. I don't know if what's happened there is to blame, but you're not telling me anything new because our world just moved into this story, too. Huh? It seems to me like this book takes the actions of the main characters and then turns them into the story. Well, as we speak, I'm reading about what's happening at your house in the book. This conversation we're having is turning into a sentence right before my very eyes. What? The girl's older brother bellowed loudly into the telephone. Period. So you're saying that you and I are characters in the universe of the Four Gods book now? Don't get too excited. There's more and it's not good. It says, And presently a sinister renegade will transverse dimensions and will bring darkness to the young girl's world. He is a masterful villain who possesses a life force of tremendous evil, who desires the world at his feet, and who wishes to become no less than a god. It can't be. Tamahome! You mean you did it so we wouldn't be apart? I made you a promise, didn't I? That we would always be together? That I'd create a miracle to keep that promise? <gasps> oh, Tamahome! You did! You did create a miracle and kept your promise! I feel like I'm dreaming, but you're really here, aren't you? You are really here with me! <laughs> I'm here with you, Miyaka. You're not dreaming. We're really here together. His arms, the warmth of his skin, the sound of his heartbeat. It's not a dream. We're not in the book. Tamome's here. He's here. <gasps> but how? How can Tamahome be in this world? It can't be. He's only a character in a book. <sighs> no! I won't let even the laws of heaven triumph over us! If Miyaka can't stay in this world, then I will... I will go to Miyaka's world! I thought I'd separated those two, but there they are. If anything should happen, I'll come to you at once. I'm not going to let this go on, Miyaka. back from inside the book to my reality. <gasps> he really did come out of the book with me. It wasn't a dream. He's here. So he could be with me. Hi there. Why are you cuddled up so close to him, weirdo? Well, I've got to get going, you guys. Miyaka, even though it's Sunday, I expect you to study for your exams. <laughs> There's not going to be any high school for me, Mom. I've decided to live my life with Tamahome. I promised, and I'm going back into the book with him. Boy, it's going to be such a shock when he finds out he's a character in a book. Okay, it's safe to come out now. Tamahome, want some rice for breakfast? I'm sure you'd like something you're familiar with more than you would pancakes or cereal. 
Don't do it, Tamahome. You don't want to be sick to your stomach, do ya? What's that thing there? It's a television, TV. You use the remote control like this. Huh? Ah, how can all of those people fit inside this whatever you called it? Breakfast is now served. I made some for you too, Kesuke. <laughs> See, and if you want to change the channel, you just push this button. Whoa, look at all the stuff in this box. Eat. Um, is Kesuke right? He said that I had crossed some dimension and that you still don't know how to send me back to my reality. <laughs> I'm not positive, but I think I figured it out. You did? Really? But Kesuke... Well, actually, I'll be meeting Tetsuya and Shibuya a little later on today. And he's got the Universe of the Four Gods book with him. Then we'll explain things to him, okay? It'll be easier if we can show him the book. Hmm. Besides, they have some really good restaurants in Shibuya. Huh? We can't have him think that this is how we eat in this country. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Wait till you see. Check it out. You look like a psychopath. Check it out. Huh? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> He looks like a major movie star, if you ask me. Only better. Keisuke said that I shouldn't go outside of my armor for some reason. Is this all right? <laughs> all right. Is that ever an understatement? You'd never guess that you were a character. <laughs> Yui? Yui, are you feeling all right? You're not sick, are you? Maybe I should call the doctor and make an appointment. I'm not sick. Leave me alone. Nakago. Nakago, are you there somewhere? Yes, I'm here. Uh, Nakago? It's Lady Yui. Huh? Where? Where is she? She's <gasps> here. Calm down. Lady Yui, can you hear my voice? Yes, I can, but I need to see you, Nakago. I can see you so clearly. Lady Yui! Suboshi, I hope you'll both forgive me for running away and coming back here. It'll work out all right, Nakago. I'm going to save my final wish for you, no matter what happens to me. You sound a little upset, Lady Yui. Is something or someone bothering you? Tamahome? Nakago, I thought that... I thought I'd finally separated Miyaka from Tamahome, but somehow Tamahome ended up here in our world with her. What is it? Why can't I ever win against those two? Why always him over me? We were together first. We've been best friends since kindergarten. <laughs> I'm confused, Lady Yui. Who is it you love? The girl or Tamahome? <gasps> Tamahome? Yes, I did love him once, but I... I don't... It's just... I don't want... Nakago, please come soon! I can't stand this alone! I can't stand them together! <laughs> Lady Yui... While I would like to come to you immediately, there are certain things I must attend to here, and so I must delay my visit a bit. But why? You said you'd come to me just as soon as I needed you! Don't worry, Lady Yui. You will not be alone for very long. I promise you that. <sighs> what do you mean, Miyaka and Tamahome have disappeared? It's true! They suddenly vanished into this blue light! Mitsukake was hurt real bad, and so Chichiri is taking care of him. We managed to get to the capital by taking an indirect route through some back roads only the mountain bandits know. We were able to turn back the first attack, but the second assault is already moving in. And if the ramparts fall, we're finished! Your Highness, the bandits of Mount Reikaku pledge their allegiance and fighting strength to you. I know those two will come back. We just have to fight hard and hold out till then. We can do it! Very well, then. Our course is set. I have decided to command the armed forces and will join you presently. Prepare your Reikaku regiment for what lies ahead. Yes, Highness! Keep this with you so that you'll think of me! Has she returned to her own world?
and taken Tamahome? If so, perhaps it's for the best. At least the two of you can be happy there, in a world not racked by war. Enough. It's not a carriage, it's a train, Tamahome. Jeez, he's acting like a little kid. And he's been like this since we left this morning. Well, what do you expect? He's lived all his life in an ancient civilization. 20th century society must be a massive culture shock. Yeah, I guess so. are you born? For what purpose do you live? Even as he is racked with torment, one last hope endures within Tamahome's heart. It is the Lady Miyaka. He has risked his body, his soul, all that he is on a love he knows is real. On a love that has been his reason for living. Next time, repose of the soul's light. Now, there is no doubt. 